never be royal. It's a one in our blood. That kind of love just ain't for us. We crave a different kind of buzz. Let me be your ruler. We hate to be biased, but yes, she's our favorite here on BT. <laughs> Professional home economist Marilyn Smith is here to talk about local seasonal vegetable and it gets no respect. The no. lowly parsnip. Today we're gonna learn how to pick them, cook them, squish them, serve them, and love them. And love them because you know what? They get no respect. You're right. Yeah. And you know what? So whenever I do anything, because it was my idea that we should, you know, do a lowly parsnip, and I went, I better do my homework go on the internet. <laughs> anyway, I found this amazing website called ProduceMadeSimple.ca. Okay. Oh my gosh, they've got all this information and it really blew Recipes? me away. Recipes, storage, everything. But I'm going to tell you, they, they had some really amazing stuff and it's non-profit. So, so they look okay. like carrots without a tan. Yeah, you know That's what? I think happening. more like an anemic carrot. Yes. Okay. And But they don't taste anything like like a, a carrot, carrot at all. No, okay, but they have folate and potassium and magnesium, good for relaxing muscles. We talked about go. that. Very good. Okay, so what here do you we go. What do with this? So all we right. take it home. So size matters. We always knew that. And you want to always go for the small, medium, or this, but not these great big, huge ones because they're right. woody. Oh. All right, so you can still use them for like a, a parsnip chip or a soup or something, but these guys are going to be sweeter and more lovely. Okay? Chop off, chop off both ends. No, we're not, got, we're not oh. there. You're going to store them. Leave them in the bag. Okay, okay. don't take them out of the bag. There's holes in the bag. If you buy them loose, put them in a bag, stick some holes in okay. it. Okay, come on down here now. Okay, so, butter snip. So, how do you say it in Italian? Uh, non lo so. I have oh, no. no idea. Okay. We don't make it la parsnip. Okay, <laughs> so you're going to brush them. You're going to brush them really oh. well. Wash them and brush them. So pretend you're doing that. Look at this nifty okay. little brush you have. Isn't that is that, cute? Is this what you use for potatoes? Uh, you can scrubs. use that for everything. Isn't that neat? I know. It's my friend's. Oh, I, I, so I nice. stole it from her. Anyway, okay. uh, and then cut the ends off. So cut the end off. You yeah. know what? I'm left-handed. Like you're right-handed. Like a carrot. And then now I you used can... to be left-handed. My grandmother switched hands. Oh, that explains so much. Yes, I know. Doesn't it, though? It really does. My brain is a constant. Flocks. Now, so you would have scraped all that part off. Now, you can okay. peel them if you want, but I'm peace, love, and fiber. You know, I sign all of my books like that. So this is so, no good. It's so like just, an eye of a potato? So just, no, no, it's just it's just brown. She okay, so just take it off. Spots. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a trick on cutting. Instead of just going like this, which looks boring, mm -hmm. you go like angle, Fancy. angle, and then angle. That's why you are Miss Fruit and veg. Vegetable, and then angle, so and then angle. So you can serve these raw, you can roast them? Yes, and now for the roasting, they go with a whole bunch of stuff. We're gonna throw them on the parchment paper. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's what you would do, and then you can drizzle with a little bit of oil, and then you could put lots like of different. Carrot. It smells like a carrot, but it's got more of a sweet, nutty. Obviously, you do the whole pan, right? Okay, yeah. so you do a little bit of oil on it, mush them all up in the paper. So you don't have to just paper. Pan. Go like that. Good one, one, one. One. And then you can put a whole bunch of different herbs and spices. I like uh, turmeric and cracked pepper because it's an anti-inflammatory. You you taught and me that. I love you that. You have combo. to put turmeric and, and, and black pe pepper, pepper together. together to make that anti-inflammatory go <laughs> superpower. Superpower. Now okay. here's one of my tricks for the gravy I mentioned before. Here's how you make the best gravy. You get those big babies, so what you cut ones? them in half, you put your turkey on top instead of a, a rack, these caramelize, <gasps> you make the gravy, you puree these and stick it in your gravy and people will go, oh, this is the best gravy I ever had. Here, I fruit know, and veg, I'm a genius. Okay, so, or you can eat them raw. You're really dying to try these, aren't you? I really am. Okay, it it so, looks like jicama. It does look like jicama. Okay, so here, this is what we're gonna do. You get a peeler. Yeah. How did and you, you do, that, you like do that. that. You just peel it away from yourself in big long ribbons. Okay. So you didn't use the fancy mandolin, which no, I like. Because who the heck has that? I like the fancy mandolin, but you don't have to buy a fancy mandolin. You just need a peeler. Okay. This takes time. So what do you do in the kitchen when you're okay. doing stuff like this by yourself? Do you sing? I do you sing. Put on music? I drink. No, I'm kidding. Did I say that out loud? Anyway, yeah. no. I have a glass of wine when I'm making dinner very often. Okay. So good. So now we're going to put those together. Dump that in there. Okay. And you can once again, you can get a whole bunch of recipes on ProduceMadeSimple.ca. Toss, so toss, ProduceMadeSimple.ca. Produce, toss. Simple produce, produce made simple. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I said it wrong. No, apple you with said the it skin. Right. Apple with the skin. You toss that up, and I'm going to make the salad dressing. So maple syrup goes really well with these guys. Okay. And I'm a trained professional. Don't do measure this out. You're eyeing it. So I'm eyeballing it, and then we're going to put some. Uh, you can use extra virgin olive oil, or I really like cold pressed canola oil. I love the way it tastes. Really. A little bit of lemon juice. Okay. A little and citrus. Iodized salt. Remember, we talked you about that me last that too, time. Guys. We, we want iodine in our diets because a lot of people are giving up foods that have iodine, which is stupid. And we're anyway, doing a lot of sea salt, which doesn't necessarily have enough. No, it doesn't. And you know what? Because it's not standardized, you don't know if it's got any, any. or has too much. Okay. And so then we're going to. your sea salt for the iodized regular table there salt. There you go. And da da da. Okay. Now, I want you to taste those because everybody in the crew was eating them. So, Mary was saying more. these are roasted. Okay. Those are roasted with a little bit of oil and some seasoning. Okay. This is just salt and pepper. Cheers really. to parsley. 
parsnips. Oh, oh hi. I fuck my one. Mm. <laughs> mm. Very much like a delicious roasted potato. I know. Got a little bit nuttier. Mm -hmm. Almost mm. like a chestnut. Mm. If a chestnut were to marry a sweet potato and a carrot, you'd get this deliciousness. I'm telling you, Kev, Mara said She's this good. plate yeah. was double the size, which means our crew actually enjoyed this. Come on down. It's a parsnip. Come on At down. Marilyn Smith for more on Twitter. Mm -hmm. MarilynSmith.com. Mm -hmm. And you know, mm. I need you back because you said certain vegetables should be eaten raw and others uh, actually you get more nutritional bang for the buck when you steam or cook. Yeah, some of them are, are different, back. different, yeah. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh, oh my that's gosh, good really good raw Isn't too, good? We're going to convince you. Come on down, Kevin. Come on down. Over to you. Thanks, Mayor. Mm. You know, and I've got a whole bunch of people who say, no, don't try the parsnip.